Last day of the legislative session for Colorado lawmakers, and some of the biggest deals are coming right down to the wire. Of course, transportation, always a hot issue here in Colorado, and now there's a last-ditch effort to get some money for our roads. Nothing like waiting until the last minute, right? <laughs> Nicole Brady is live out of the state capitol. Nicole, how much money does it look like we're going to get out of this today? About $2 billion, a little less than that, Adam. That's what we're getting for road improvements, for improvements to our highways, all those things drivers here in Colorado are always talking about. And let me tell you, that is a far cry from the $9 billion that lawmakers here wanted. The governor said we needed that $9 billion way back at the beginning of the session. Uh, but here we are 120 days later. And you'll remember, of course, the big centerpiece effort, the effort to have voters vote on a transportation tax, a tax increase, well, that failed last month. So what we're left with now is a compromise that gives a little something to everyone, or at least tries to, including rural Coloradans. Almost $1.9 billion in transportation dollars. Now, about 25% of that is going to go to the 49 counties in Colorado that have populations of 50,000 or less. Um, but that's really the major transportation money that's going to come out of this session. That's what it comes down to. Now, that money for transportation is coming out of a reworked hospital provider fee. By reclassifying the hospital provider fee, the state is able to take a little more money for roads as well as education and some other projects. Uh, but no major transportation fix this session. Some lawmakers calling this enough for now. Reporting live at the state capitol, Nicole Brady, Denver 7.